can say is just ordering clothes and like being shocked at how stuff fits when I put it on. Like shocked in a good way. It's the most amazing feeling ever, you guys. So most of the stuff that I order is a size medium. Yes, a medium. Most of the stuff I get is a size medium. Good morning, good morning, you guys. So today is glutes. Are y'all excited? I'm excited. I love glutes now. I didn't always, but it's okay. My knees feel great. Nothing hurts. Nothing is sore. So I'm ready to go all out today. I've already warmed up. I went through a cycle of one minute on the bike. Then I did some walking lunges. Then I did like some hip openers. And I did that three times. So we're ready. So we're going to start with reverse lunges on the Smith machine here. Let's try to get at least 10 to 12 reps on each side. I'm going to start at 35 pounds each side and then decide what we want to do. As a superset to that, you guys, we are going to do some jump squats with a dumbbell. I have a 50 pound dumbbell and when I do my jump squats, I'm going to make sure my butt touches the bench. Okay, we got to make sure we're getting low enough. So let's get into set number one. Let me get some music in my ear and then we're ready to go. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. And if y'all see me looking, there's a mirror over there. So I'm just checking to make sure the back leg is down low. All right, here we go. Next leg. All right, let's go. Jump squats. Hey guys, butt has to touch the bench. Here we go. You guys, set number two, 45 pounds on each side now. Let's try to at least get eight, eight to 10 reps. All right, here we go. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Next leg. All right, here we go. Mm. 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 
Ah. Oh god. Okay. Woo. Go. Jump squats. Here we go. All right, you guys, set number three. I decided to play around with the angle. I don't know if it's gonna work out. I added a five, so we're at 50 on each side. I think this is a PR, so let's go ahead and get into it. One, two, and three. I got one more lay. All right, come on, come on. All right. Jump squats. you guys we are gonna do some heavy sumos into some RDOs but for the RDOs I really want to hit my hamstrings so I'm actually gonna elevate my feet keep my heels on the floor but I have 25s that I'll be putting the balls of my feet on we're gonna do RDOs I grabbed 50s so we're gonna get into it for the dumbbell for the sumo we're gonna start at 100 and see how that feels but hopefully I'll be able to get to 110 today so let's try to get between 10 to 12 reps of the sumos and I need to find some good music because we got a intense set. Uh, I don't know what I want to listen to, y'all. All right, y'all ready for me? The question is, am I ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, here we go. <sighs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> Okay. RDLs. Remember when we do these, we're only going as low so we can't push our butt back any further. You don't have to go all the way to your feet. All right. Keep your dumbbells close to your legs. One, two, and three.
All right, you guys, set number two. All right, here we go. Alright, here we go. Adios. God damn. Alright you guys, laying hamstring curls. Okay. Oh, it's too late. Hold on. Let me up the weight. Alright. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and woo -wee. One more. That's it. Goddamn. Fuck. All right, you guys, set number two here. Same thing. Okay. you guys so that concludes glutes y'all i'm already sore <laughs> i'm already fucking sore so we worked out for a total of 
one hour and 20 minutes and we burned 974 calories and that included the warm-up so good shit you guys i feel great i feel it's crazy because i really used to not like leg day but honestly now like i really don't mind it and i know i had like the knee injury maybe it was like tendonitis shit going on months ago but I don't mind leg day anymore. <laughs> like I used to dread it. And now like I feel great with it. So not bad. I am pleased with how hard I worked. I'm pleased. We was sweating, child. It, we was getting sweaty. Um, yeah, so like the dumbbell area got like really crowded. <laughs> that's one thing. That's one thing that I liked about um Planet Fitness was even though the dumbbell area got a little crowded, there was I could easily just take the dumbbells like a little further away from the dumbbell section and I could have my own little space. So over here, like at Gold's, I don't have that option. <laughs> like it's so much equipment, you guys. They have so much equipment and honestly, I just don't feel like they have enough space for it. I don't know. It's just so much stuff. And every time I come, literally every time I come in here, equipment is like in a different location than it was last time. Like they have completely moved stuff around. Like we were really snug by the Smith machine and where we were doing the jumping, um, the jumping squats, like it, it was snug over there. So hopefully, I don't know. I think they have too much equipment, but regardless, we got a good workout in. So I'm happy about that. Um, you guys, so, excuse me, mm, child, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> All right, so a couple of things. First, you guys, okay, let me tell you guys some of, for those of y'all who want to lose weight and you're trying to get started, <laughs> you're trying to find the right time to get started, let me tell you, the right time is now. The right time is right now, not January 1, not August 1st, not, not Monday, like the time is right now. You guys, let me tell you about just how much my life has improved since I've lost 115 pounds, okay? And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, I lost 115 pounds over the course of 15 months. I got really, really small frames. Then I bulked and now here we are and I'm cutting and I've been in a cut and all of my beautiful muscles that I built over the winter are slowly starting to make their debut. So that's like a little backstory. But either way, I've been on my journey for a little over two years now trying to lose weight, gain muscle, all the things. So you guys, let me tell you something. Weight loss is amazing. It is fucking amazing you guys I'm telling you stop pushing it off seriously the other side of your excuses is this beautiful and happy healthy life and there was a point when I was at my heaviest where I was insecure about my weight but then there was also a point when I was at my heaviest where I wasn't insecure about my weight and I still carried a very high level of confidence. I always held my head up high. So, you know, I had phases. But what I can say is, you know, whether you are secure at your heaviest or you're secure at your smallest, just know that things get a lot easier when you're smaller. Like, we can't argue with that, okay? I'm all for body positivity and loving yourself in all sizes. Y'all know this. But life gets a lot easier <laughs> when you're smaller. It really does. It really does, you guys. So I have been shopping. <laughs> you guys, I used to hate going clothes shopping. Like, I really did. Because even though I, you know, was secure in my body, it was just like stuff didn't fit me the way I wanted it to fit me. And you guys, I'm not going to lie. I didn't even realize how big I was when I was that big. Like, when I look at before pictures now, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> like, it shocks the shit out of me, you guys. Like, I am shocked at how big I was. But in that moment, two and three and four years ago, I didn't think I was that big. Like, I really didn't. And now when I look at pictures, I'm like, who the fuck is her? Like, it's crazy. It is so crazy. And sometimes it's even hard for me to show you guys before pictures because I can't even believe, like, with the mindset that I have now, I can't even believe 
that I let myself get to that back then, right? I mean, we can't cry over spilled milk. Shit happened. I lost the weight. But it's just it's just remarkable. But anyways, you guys, like, I have really started enjoying ordering clothes, okay? And <laughs> I like Sheen because Sheen is uh, pretty cheap. Uh, I don't... I'm just not in the space to spend hundreds of dollars on one shirt. Like, I'm not there yet. But <laughs> but I do like Sheen. For the most part, I feel like Sheen has a lot of good stuff. Really cute stuff. Really cheap prices. And now I haven't washed anything yet. Because I don't really go out much. Y'all know this. <laughs> like, I'm trying to get out of my shell. But I don't really go out too much. But what I can say is just ordering clothes and, like, being shocked at how stuff fits when I put it on. Like, shocked in a good way. It's the most amazing feeling ever, you guys. So most of the stuff that I order is a size medium. Yes! A medium! Most of the stuff I get is a size medium, you guys. Like, the fact that I can squeeze my tail into a medium and, like, feel confident and feel great and just feel amazing in these smaller sizes is crazy. I even feel like they have more stuff when you're a smaller size. Okay, now I didn't shop at Sheen when I was bigger. I don't even think Sheen was a thing. At that time I was shopping at Fashion Nova. And Fashion Nova for me was like a hit or miss. When I was so most of the stuff I would get from Fashion Nova would be like a 3X. Or if it, they had an option between 2X slash 3X, I would get that. But even with that stuff, some of that stuff wouldn't even fit. And some stuff did, but then I just didn't like how I looked in it. Like, I just didn't like the way my fat was proportioned or whatever. So, like, clothes shopping just wasn't that much fun to me. Like, it just really wasn't. And now, you guys, like, oh my gosh. So, I say all this to say... It's great over here. It really is. But you're holding yourself back from this part of life, okay? Like, even just being able to move better. Like, when we go to the gym every day, I remember when I couldn't do certain things. Like, there was a point, you guys, I couldn't even do lunges. I couldn't do a lunge. My trainer had me, like, holding on to the side of the Smith machine and just working on balance. And now I'm doing lunges like it's nothing. <laughs> Like, seriously, like, it's fucking crazy. It's crazy. Let me see, what else could I not do? Lunges I definitely couldn't do. I definitely couldn't do a Bulgarian split squat, that's for sure. He used to have me practice in front of the Smith machine, but holding on to the bar and doing them that way. Uh, just body weight, just trying to get balanced together, trying to get my leg to be able to handle the weight and of course you guys when you're bigger it's more weight to carry right it's more weight to push up you just have to be you have to be a lot stronger but you're not that strong when you first start because your body's just not used to moving so obviously like as you get smaller things get easier because it's less weight that your muscles have to move right but I couldn't do none of that stuff before you guys um I couldn't do planks like at all like I think I think I could only hold a plank for like 10 seconds maybe and that might even be shooting it a little high I think matter of fact when I first started you guys I might not have been able to do planks for like five seconds like no bullshit no fucking bullshit so that's what I'm saying like you just move so much better when you're smaller you have more energy now granted if you eat poorly you probably still won't have a lot of energy but, y'all, these telemarketers, bruh, are going crazy. Let me put the phone on Do Not Disturb. All right. Um, so if you don't eat right, you probably just won't have that much energy regardless. But, you guys, I promise you, on this side of the line, it's so much better over here. It really is. And, like I said, seeing the before and after pictures and just seeing how far I've come... Like, it just is like, wow. Like, that's... Like, I am fucking shocked. I really shocked the shit out of myself. Because there's still parts of me that I want to improve on or whatever. But, like, I tell y'all, take your before and after pictures. Like, even if you don't want to post anything, that's fine. That's your prerogative. You don't have to. But still just keep those pictures, keep those videos for you. So that over time, you can experience what I'm telling you. Like, just seeing your body transform. Like... 
it's fucking crazy, like, all up in my face. Like, people tell me all the time, like, I look like a totally different person. And I do. I be- I agree. <laughs> like, I really agree. I do look like a totally different person. Like, my face, my neck area, like, all up in here. Just, like, if you don't look at anything else, like, just shoulders up. Like, it's a completely different it's fucking crazy, you guys. And I've started posting more before and after pictures. So go to my community and you just scroll through and you'll see. <laughs> you'll see what the fuck I'm talking about. But it's insane. I, I don't even have another word to describe it. Like, it's just fucking crazy. So I'm I'm really trying to encourage you to just take that leap of faith. Just do it, y'all. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. It is so hard. Like, Weight loss is by far the hardest thing I've ever done in life. It is so hard. But I promise you, I'm so glad that I did that. Because it's so much easier to to live now. Like, being overweight is hard. It is so hard. Like, my knees were always in pain. And I wasn't even working out. (laughs) Okay? Like, that was just, like, my regular. My knees were always in pain. Lower back always hurt I never had much energy I would breathe heavily as fuck like heavily as fuck like just sitting here I could not walk and carry a conversation I used to have to you know it's crazy it had got to the point where when I was walking I would have to walk with my mouth open like that's how overweight I got I couldn't even really breathe through my nose like that anymore like it just wasn't enough oxygen hitting my body like I had to sit I would be sitting watching tv you guys and like like this like that's how I used to have to breathe like it would not be enough oxygen through my nose anymore like that's that's when you know it's getting bad that is when you know it's getting bad and I used to try to cover it up like oh my nose is stuffy or oh it's sinus no it won't, uh, it was, it was, it was being overweight. <laughs> like, it was being overweight. That's what the shit was. But I'm telling y'all, like, you guys, it is so much easier being smaller. I move so much better. I can walk up a couple flights of stairs and not be, like, winded. I can still carry a conversation. Getting in and out of the car is a lot easier. Now, some days it's hard, but that's because I'm sore. But, but just, like, getting in, and, getting in and out of the car, like, stuff that you don't think about is so much easier when you're smaller, okay? So, if you've never experienced being smaller like I hadn't, I'm telling you, it's a whole vibe. It's great. It really is. But it takes a lot of work. You learn a lot about yourself. I learned so much about myself. I know what kind of, I know what triggers me as far as like what's going to make me want to eat stuff that I shouldn't be eating. I know what's beneficial for me. I learned so much on my journey, you guys. I I really did. And you you have to. That's why I tell y'all like, for those of y'all looking for a quick fix, like this is not the channel for you. It's not the channel for you because I'm constantly beating it in your head. Mental health is the new wealth. Once you can get a grasp on what's going on in here, your whole life transforms. You do a complete 180, seriously. But it all starts up here and you're not going to get that. You're not going to get that if you're just doing like a 60 day cleanse or Whatever they have going on these days to help you lose weight really, really fast. You're not you're not fixing any of your mental problems. Like, we all have mental problems, whether you're overweight or not. I think everybody has some crazy in them, right? Everyone has some crazy in them. So you have to work on it. Like, you have to figure out what triggers you. You have to just learn a lot about yourself so that you don't treat your body poorly. Because I feel like how we treat our body is a reflection of how we feel about ourselves whether you want to admit it or not I'm all for the plus size movement at the end of the day but you're not going to sit here and tell me that it's not more challenging doing basic things when you're overweight like I I don't agree with you I don't agree with you and I stand on it it is so much harder to do stuff when you're overweight and for some people they they've never experienced what it's like to be a healthy weight so they don't have anything else to compare it to and that makes sense you don't know because you've always been overweight but I promise you if you were to lose that 100 pounds or however much you have to lose 50 whatever I promise you when you reflect back you're gonna be like yeah you're right it's a lot easier to be alive 
when you're smaller. It's a lot easier to do simple things when you're smaller. It's a lot easier to just be you when you're smaller. It just is, you guys. And then all the other things that come with it, like sitting at a booth and being comfortable in the booth, like at a restaurant. Some people don't think about that stuff. Like when you're really overweight, it is not comfortable sitting in those booths. There's not enough space for your gut. You know, it's stuff like that people don't think about. Like sitting in a car comfortably, like I have a very small car. It's like considered a compact car. Like just having more space in the seat, okay? Just like that type of stuff right there that people don't think about. But when you're heavy, like how I was or even heavier, like that stuff you have to consider, you know, because that's just a part of your life. But I'm telling you, when you buckle down, when you lose that weight, when you commit to just being a better, healthier and happier version of you, you're going to be so glad that you did that. So glad. And you know, I am happy to see that a lot more stores are, you know, accommodating plus size people. Like I used to shop at Fashion Nova a lot, like I told you guys. I used to shop at Torrid. But with Torrid, like, Torrid wasn't really, like, my style. But they were one of the only stores in my area that I could, like, go into and, like, actually do clothes shopping. Like, I didn't have to order, if that makes sense. But I didn't really like the style of Torrid. Um, Ashley Stewart was another store I used to go to if I had to get something. They carried plus-size stuff. But even that wasn't really my style. Fashion Nova was, like, my style. But, again, they were, like, hit or miss. Like, some stuff would fit really good. And some stuff they would claim is a 3X. And it's like, no, this looks like a medium. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So, it was just, it's just so much easier to live life now that I'm smaller. Um, and then your mindset changes. You start to realize that you can do anything that you want to do. It's just a whole vibe, you guys. So I say all this to say, like, please just start. Please just start. Please just start your journey. Please, please, please just start. You don't have to wait till January 1. You don't have to wait till Monday. You guys, stop. Just start right now. <laughs> just start right now. Do it. <laughs> do it right now. Whatever you're eating right now, stop eating it. If it's bad, stop eating it. Just throw it away. <laughs> Just throw it away. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, I hope y'all start seriously from the bottom of my heart. Please start because I'm telling you, you're going to love it here. You're going to love it on this side of life. Okay. <laughs> if you guys want to see what we did yesterday for back, biceps, and abs, click right here. Also, you guys, tomorrow I'm going to be making burgers with the rest of the veggie ground that I made. So we'll have some fun tomorrow. But anyways, I'm almost done with the spaghetti squash. So we'll make burgers tomorrow. But yeah, I'll see you guys bright and early for chest, shoulders, and triceps. Bye, you guys.